1.21 gigawatts. That was one of the many iconic scenes from the movie Back to the Future. The film turns 30 years old this year. It debuted in 1985 and spent 11 weeks in the number one slot, spawning a host of pop culture references, products, and fan clubs. To look back on the film's legacy and its impact, we're joined now by BuzzFeed Rewind senior editor Brian Galindo from Los Angeles. So, Brian, first of all, I don't know about you, but I feel very old that this movie is 30 years old. <laughs> Uh, it's hard to believe now, but this film almost didn't get made. Why was it so hard to get it on the screen? I think because it was sort of a weird mix of it being a teen movie, uh, you know, Michael J. Fox going back and visiting his parents who were teens, and it also being a bit of a family movie at the same time, which I think sort of put it in this weird limbo where, uh, you know, a lot of studios were probably looking for movies that were more with in the theme of uh, Fast Times at Richmond High or Porky's that were sort of like risque teen movies. Um, and then this was sort of like somewhere in between where it wasn't like so kiddie-ish that it was a family film for se, but it wasn't also a teen movie. So I think that's why the movie probably spent more time in limbo than it should have, but it resulted with a really great movie, so. You mentioned Michael J. Fox, and we take for granted that he's the ultimate Marty McFly, but hardcore fans of this movie will know he was not the first choice to play the role. Who was and what happened? Eric Stoltz was, and uh, he was cast after Michael J. Fox was not able to, to join the movie originally, because he was the original choice. Um, he was on Family Ties at the time, and so he ended up having to pass on the role. Um, and then they filmed the movie with, they filmed about six weeks of the movie with Eric in the role. And then they looked back and said that it was just not working. The chemistry between him and Christopher Lloyd, who played Doc Brown, wasn't right. So they went back and, and by this point, uh, renegotiated with the Family Ties producers to see if they can get Michael J. Fox on board, had him come in and do the role, and they fired Eric Stoltz, unfortunately, but you can't picture anybody else but Michael J. Fox doing this role. So in Back to the Future 2, which is when they actually go to the future, there are all these yes. predictions made about what life would be like in 2015. So some of those turned out to be accurate, others not so much, such as, do you think the Cubs are actually going to win the World Series this year? I don't think they will. <laughs> <laughs> of course, the one thing everybody wonders about is uh, the hoverboard. And apparently recently, Lexus has released a video of uh, some sort of flying car contraption. So wh what, did, what did they kind of preview in this movie that we now think might actually come to pass? You know, I think the flying cars is probably something that won't you know, come around. Um, but I do think that a lot of the stuff has slowly crept in and we just sort of see different variations of it. I think maybe dehydrated food might be the, the wave of the future. That, that's we just a don't sad know yet. second place to having a hoverboard. But I guess yeah. as a last question, I mean, it's amazing 30 years later we're still talking about this movie. Why do you think this is still a classic 30 years on? You know, I, I think that it's, it has a lot to do with the fact that it's got, it's witty, it's, you know, sort of imaginative. I think all of us, um, at some point have said it would be really great if I could travel to, you know, X time and, and see what it would be like to be, you know, in, you know, 1920s Chicago or, you know, go to the wild, wild west. It, you know, it's, it's got a great pacing and I think that all those elements together and, and the chemistry and the acting and the story was strong, it, it all sort of just made it into a classic. It's one of my favorites. Brian Galindo from BuzzFeed, thanks so much. Thanks.